Okay, welcome back to segment number two of TED TV live in Venice. We're at the Talking Stick Coffee Shop on Lincoln in California, and I'm sitting next to this beautiful lady. She is an artist opening her show, her first solo show um, at the Talking Stick. Tonight's her big night. We also have a Venice Mosaic tonight, which is an evening full of music, poetry. Uh, sometimes you'll get uh, comedy here too, so this is, you don't know what you're going to get tonight. But one thing I know you're going to get, you're going to get art and art talk, because we're going to go take a, round, take a walk around the stick now. We're going to look at Lindsay's work and, and talk to Lindsay about her thing. So, you guys ready to go for a ride? I thought so. Hang on. Okay, so um, let's just take another look at this piece right here. And um, yeah, so I want to just read this to you guys. This is her show. It's a texturized your senses. Observation is a part of an artist's job's description. Job description, excuse me. We observe, contemplate, recognize, and finally describe. Texturize your senses is based off of a true observation of nature and life with a final description through not only sight, but also touch. I challenge you to explore the world with all five senses. See, hear, taste, smell, and touch your surrounding. Texturize your senses. Art show by Lindsay Karen. This beautiful young woman right here. <laughs> so pretty. So let's go take a while around the stick and well, I guess we'll go show off this wall right here. That's Nikki Black in the uh, front of the camera there. He's setting up for his night of Venice Mosaic. So we have these three pieces. Um, I'm going to show them to you one at a time. And Lindsay, you can talk and describe if you are. If you guys aren't familiar with Fibonacci, he was a very, very famous mathematician. And um, it's basically a sequence that he came up with that when it's graphed, it becomes a perfect spiral. And what I'm so interested in about this is that you see the perfect spiral in a ton of nature. You see it when a fern blooms and in snail shells and all sorts of different things in nature. It's just amazing where it shows up and that he was able to actually calculate it and put it in this like mathematical rhythm and it's just it's beautiful to me and it's beautiful to the concept of art. And so you see that here. And I actually created a real graph um, on this panel and um, before I painted and made this spiral. So it's actually the real um, dimension. Wow. wow, that's really cool. I didn't know all that. <laughs> wow. I just thought it was a pretty piece of art. I love that there's stories behind these. Absolutely. Now this one just grows on me. I love this one. This one it's so funny because it didn't. It started out with not much emotion, not much meaning. It was based on these designs and patterns that I found inside shells, and um, it just kind of evolved. And I grew more attached to it as I painted it, and it has a much deeper feel to it at this point than it ever started out having. And it's basically completely open to the viewer's interpretation, um, as most of my work is, um, at least on the abstract side. And I love that about abstract art, because you can make it your own, and there's no one judging your interpretation of it. Right, right. And, and yeah, like, when I got to tell you, like, when you brought in your show, this was probably one, probably one of my least favorites, because it was just, it didn't speak to me immediately. But the longer it sits on that wall, the more I see in it. And, and that, to me, is a credit to the art and the artist. You really did a great job. Because you know that was like my first favorite, that spiral. Yeah. I love the spiral. And then this one is just growing on me extremely. Oh, my goodness. I just I love, I love this piece of work. I'm going to talk about this one. Um, this one goes along with the first Fibonacci piece. It's another one that I did experimenting with the sequence. And this one is a series of um, graphing of the spiral. And 
Um, actually, both of these pieces took me months upon months to finish because they were just really bugging me. Nothing was correct about them. And it was supposed to be a representation of something that's meant to be perfect in nature and perfect in math. And to me, it was not looking the way that I wanted it to look. But eventually, with some messing around, it came out to be this, which was completely unexpected. But I like it, and I hope you like it. <laughs> well, I love it. I, um, I see the math in it. I, 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 yeah, I this didn't one's a little bit more obvious than the math. Yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, when I, I, when I saw them, I mean, I didn't put your math until you said the word math, but, um, yeah, it is very calculated. Oh, that's very cool. All right, let's go walk across the room here. I'm actually going to be doing some live painting for the bands performing tonight, so that'll be fun, too. Oh, that's excellent. We'll try to, we'll get that covered, for sure. All right, so let's... I'm going to hit this wall over here, I think we should. Okay, um, which one do you want to cover first? Matter? No, let's do Reflections. Reflections came out of my um, last summer in Wisconsin. Um, I've never experienced an LA summer. This is my first LA summer, so I'm very excited about that. But last summer I was um, part of an artist collective in Wisconsin and I basically had this entire gallery to take over during the day and um, this one was really memorable because I was working on this piece during a really quiet day um, in the gallery because it was pouring outside, it was storming, and the storm rolled in, it was thunder and lightning, and I was playing um, a live Dave Matthews band set in the gallery, and it was just me, and the paint, and the storm, and so I just like, I cherish that memory so much, and I, I really cherish the work that came out of that summer because it was... It was a tough wow. time for me, and it was a growing experience. And everybody plays like they're from I'm trying to give you guys a real... There's the, all these paintings have so much texture to them that I don't know if it quite comes out on the flat camera. Yeah, I'm trying to get in the, you got to see them in person. Absolutely. <laughs> you should be at the talking stick. Now, this piece I love a lot. Pardon the lights there. They're not really part of the painting. <laughs> Um, this guy is a study on the ocean, um, came out of one of my art classes, um, and that was when I was first starting to experiment with this painting style, and it was very frustrating at first, very, very frustrating. I would literally like tear the canvases apart because I get so frustrated, but um, it ended up being a good experience, and um, the duplicate of this one, it's another ocean study. Um, my professor, Joe Pesentine, actually is going to trade one of his piece, pieces with mine, and so that's really special to me, um, because he doesn't do that very often at all, and he liked it so much, so he's going to give it to his son, and I get one of his pieces in exchange, and it's absolutely amazing, so I can't wait to do that. That's fantastic. Okay, we're going to cut this because we're at the eight minute mark, and I want to get this up on here, dude. So, hang on, folks. You know the routine. We'll be right back.